Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Everyday Non-Expert here, and today I wanted to give you a spoiler for one of the books coming out this week that could make it something that you might want to spec on. I'm also going to be talking about some uh, channel updates. I wasn't going to do a channel update video, but this uh, spec just came out and I thought you all might want to know about it. So I thought I'd do this one real quick and might as well just throw some stuff in about uh, what's coming in with the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, everybody. So I'm just going to do the spec first. Honestly, I'm not going to make you guys wait till the end. So this week, Thor number 20, uh, Donnie Cates. Um, it looks like it's going to be the first appearance of the God of Hammers. Uh, I'm going to show cover A right here with this uh, so you can see the cover that you are going to look for. There is a 1 in 25 that is already like 150 bucks plus on eBay. And I will uh, show an eBay screenshot here so you guys can check it out as well. And then um, here's the spoiler, kind of. So you, um, uh, well, I already said spoiler at the beginning of the video, and I already said it, so <laughs> no point in a spoiler warning now. Anyway, uh, so I'll put the the image of the spoiler here. So that's it, guys. Uh, A's are still fairly cheap on eBay. Uh, I see some for like 11, but then there's some that are still cover price. So the 1 in 25 has jumped. Those all have uh, first appearance God of Hammers in the title. So, you know, those came after this spec dropped, but there are still cover A's that don't have that in the title that you can run over to eBay. If you don't have a local shop or you're not gonna be able to get there on Wednesday, or they're not, you know, you don't wanna trust that they're gonna have one waiting for you. I personally contacted my comic book shop. Uh, I requested a few of them, uh, and I mean, at least one. They usually give me one, and then it, it, if uh, I mean, I've been going there for years now. So if there's a couple extra, and I ask for it, they usually will give it to me. Depends how big the spec is. If it is big, then they may just limit it to one, which is totally understandable. Uh, you know, you want to allow as many people to get that book as possible, and I didn't pre-FOC it, so. That's why the FOC videos are so important. Now, um, this kind of dropped a little later, like obviously after the FOCs. So I didn't know and you guys wouldn't have known. But, you know, if there is stuff like this pre-FOC, then, you, then you, you would be able to go get it. So anyways, that's it. If you're here just for that, you can go ahead and drop off. Um, unless you want to stay tuned for some channel updates. Now, everyone, uh, I really want to thank everybody. If I don't say your name, uh, it's not that I don't value you, it's just there are some people that have really um, sort of inspired me to really keep putting out the content. And that's Andrew and Joe, um, Jimmy G, the comic guy. And there's some, some new people as well. Uh, I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate everyone, honestly. Um, but you know, just like in everything, it's those, the people who go the extra mile to comment on everything, to like everything. The people that I actually have a back and forth with in the comment section and things like that. Um, obviously those people deserve the special shout out. But I did want to say, I, you know, uh, right now I'm recording the mic onto my computer and then the I'm gonna mute the audio like I'm running on iMovie detach the audio from the video file and then sync them up uh, one thing I would like to get is and this is on my iPhone I would like to get uh, an actual camera so um, and then just you know there's a like uh, better editing stuff especially as I get into um, doing the other types of videos that I want to do. And I know I keep harping on the history stuff, but I need to get up in the attic, grab my papers from college, uh, and get the, and I just haven't been able to get up in the attic and grab those yet. Um, because I want to put something fun out there. And I really had some great ideas then. Um, and I was obviously more immersed back then. So I, it'll kind of like bring me back, um, 
and, and most of that stuff is based on books that I had found in the library or from uh, scholastic journals because with your um, with my San Diego State ID I had access to uh, academic journals online and I would read those articles um, and for those videos just so you know um, it's sort of like just kind of the papers that you I had to write were argumentative but I don't know that I necessarily want to make arguments in this I kind of want to just show um, I want to make it more of a documentary and by definition if you're making a documentary and you have an argument even if it's valid even if you're showing um, some poor village needs water but if you have an angle, it's therefore not a documentary. Um, it, all you, a documentary really is just documenting facts. Now I'll, you can go and I'll go into that whole thing about what are facts, etc. Um, there's this you have to go through training actually as a history major at San Diego State. Uh, there's like different levels of analysis anyway i'll get into all that in the video but um i think it's going to be really exciting and uh i you know i don't have access to those journals anymore so i'm not to go based on my notes from however long ago so things may have changed things may have been discovered or what have you but i will do some online you know double checking and things like that um uh, but it's not all stuff i just got off the internet or whatever it's going to be from published works that were in my school library and um published uh articles in um academic sort of magazines and and things like that um as well as uh, like music i mean i in some of my papers i i would use music as um as a primary source and i would even also like i know for one paper i wrote i used the uh um like statistics from the red cross and things like that so um it's really really pretty fact-based and i really think nowadays people will enjoy that more than my opinion on things um and i generally tend will we'll tend to not put my uh, opinion in um i'll kind of just again try to make a documentary and document it as i can but anyways i want to put the time in i want to get good equipment to be able to do that um it would eventually be awesome to get like a, a shutter stock or stock footage sort of subscription things like that um so to achieve that um you can always support me by um but i have my ebay uh link in the description if you feel like you want to buy some books anyways um that way you're at least getting something awesome for it um other than that i am now i didn't want to mess with the tax implication of it back in uh 2021 but now it's a brand new year i'm going to be putting in my paypal and uh my uh, Venmo into the description of the videos and if you feel like you want to support in some way that would be awesome um, I'm thinking of doing something where everyone who um, who sort of contributes throughout the month um, however many dollars you contribute that's one entry into sort of like a drawing and i want to give away like i have i don't know if you can see but there's a black box up there and i have a bunch of books that are now worth um a bunch of money and uh if i decide to do something like that i mean by a bunch i mean like it ranges from like 20 to um like i have the first appearance of omega red that kind of ranges between 20 and 40 dollars um i have a bunch of miles morales keys uh, I've like uh, uh, Edge of Spider Verse Two Fifth Print that's actually going for like fifty bucks or or more right now. Um, I mean, I'm just like a whole bunch more, and I have a bunch in top loaders. I have a Venom Three signed by Donny Cates, so you know 
those I, I, that I think would be worth uh, giving away if I can get, you know, enough support financially to where I don't have to rely on selling those comics to, uh, because then I, at least I know it's going to someone who really wants the comic. Um, you, you know, things like, and then I'll, that, any money that comes from that, I will actually will um, put towards this stuff. And then obviously if there's a surplus, I mean, I may use some of that to, to get books and stuff that, that I would buy. And then I can use the money that I would buy books with to pay bills and stuff. So, um, you know, just that's it. Um, I know this part was a little bit longer and more boring, but I'm really passionate about that history part. And, um, and I've gotten some good feedback on people who said they would be interested in watching those history ones. Obviously, if it, if I put them out and you guys don't like them, I would love for your feedback on that and what maybe I need to do um, differently and, and things like that. But Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me. Those are the channel updates and that's the the spoiler key on Thor 20. If that's something you decide that you want to get, it's all completely up to you. I am just providing the information and it's your decision to pull the trigger or not. Um, I never want to advise anyone on what they should or shouldn't do with their own money. So thanks again for stopping by and checking out this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.